everybody, this is Red Sea of Red Sea Gaming. I decided to go on memory lane again, like I did with the Sand Palace last week. This is my first Red Sea Craft server. Basically, this was my first attempt at making a YouTube server. This server was active from December of 2017 to December of 2019. So, I put a lot of time into this server. Uh, a year and eight months. So, it was a lot of uh, back and forth of... I had some friends in the past that were telling me to stop building it because it was just too complicated, but I just kept persevering. I kept working on it. What you are seeing here is the fruits of my labor after a year and a half of work on it. As you can see, everything you see except the roof for the towers, those three uh, towers, the roofs were not built by me. That's the subscriber area. I would actually have people come uh, from PSN and they would be allowed to build whatever they wanted within the subscriber area. It's the only one of its kind. I didn't do that for the other servers. Mainly because I had plans for the land around the spawn point. So I wouldn't be happy if people built stuff uh, that I wasn't appreciative of. I really wish I could do that, but right now, just deciding where the subscriber area would go for my present servers would be a pain. This is my first greenhouse I ever built underground. I just call it the greenhouse because it's easier to say than underground garden. So, I built this. This was uh, something I put a lot of heart and soul into. And I learned a very valuable lesson that you need torches in order to ensure things grow. And this is something I put some time into, and this is also the server I got my Platinum Trophy on, so the Ender Dragon already got defeated, so it's kind of cool. This is my first attempt at building a, a nice looking storeroom. As you can see, this is everything here, like, it looks nice, the wood on the ground. Right now, I'm showing you it in the Conquest Reforged texture pack, but I built most of this in the Fantasy texture pack. So, it gives a nice makeover to the server when I'm using the Conquest Reforged texture pack instead of uh, the original Fantasy texture pack. Also, this is the first floor greenhouse. I decided the greenhouse was too small, so I went down and I built this. Another greenhouse that looks exactly the same as the one above. It was a pain to make sure it was right. The measurements had to be the same. The room had to be just as wide. Now I'm going up uh, one of the stairs to the, one of the towers. Like I said, the roof was not built by me, but I built the tower. But a friend of mine, just he actually built the, the roofs. This was when I wasn't very good at building roofs. So, you know... I let somebody else do it, but nowadays I usually do all the roofs by myself. So it's kind of cool. I'm just showing you guys how what I was like uh, five years ago. Like, I used to build very simple. Uh, because I was still learning how to play Minecraft like any other person. So, And I'm just very proud to show all this off to you guys. Because how big this survival build is, I've actually sped it up uh, with the uh, time lapse. That way, you guys get a sense of the scale of this construction project. I built 90% of what you see by myself. And what's great about this wall, I built myself. Before this server was abandoned, I had actually torn down a bunch of my uh, wall because I was planning to actually expand the landmass a bit. So, oh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Red Sea Gaming. Please, I really appreciate that. Right now, this is the part of the server I'm, which I'm very proud of. This is the Pillared Hall. The original plan for the Pillared Hall was, uh, eventually, when it was finished, I was going to have hide-and-seek matches down here because of how long and how confusing it is down here. It's just great to show you guys how much work I put into it. 
this is a huge world that I worked on. This was before the Bedrock Edition that came out for the consoles. So basically, I was uh, I was limited by how much resources were in the area. And this is where the original, uh, where the library would have been, the largest library ever constructed. I would have actually built the library here, but I gave up on the server and moved on to the new server, Red Seacraft version 2, which I will be presenting next week in a video as well. It's mainly because I was not, I mean, satisfied that uh, with some of my building techniques, and whenever I brought new building techniques, they would conflict with the old building techniques I had showcased on this server. So the only way to wipe the slate clean and start anew is to actually start a new server. So, everything here, I put a lot of time into. I feel absolutely satisfied that I was able to do so much with the server, despite my friends on PSN uh, telling me, you should just give up on this world, you should, you should. I told them, no, I'm just going to keep working on it. This is the smelter, and I'm just very happy I can show you guys this. And, um, this is uh, a smelter. I didn't build myself. This was before I knew how to build smelters, so I had a friend do it. But, as you can see, I'm going to just rush down there. The problem was, my smelter, um, this smelter kept getting damaged by water buckets. Other stuff, uh, I had one idiot accidentally throw a water bucket on this thing. And I actually had to wait for the guy to come on uh, to fix it. And uh, eventually, me and him uh, lost contact. He hasn't spoken to me in a long time, so I have no choice but to learn how to build smelters on my own. Because becoming dependent on others for something you don't know how to do can actually cripple your entire server. So, this is actually the storage room for the stone brick. I put a lot of time into building this. It's very deep. This is at the deepest part of the server. And this is um, basically what was going to be more storage. As you can see, stone, stone, stone. Since 90% of the building materials was stone brick, it was important I had enough. And this is the underground tunnel that runs underneath the pillared hall. The pillared hall above needed to have logistics lines to get the stone brick to where it was needed. So as you can see, I went upstairs, there's the pillared hall. This is the tram uh, line that goes underneath the entire the entire build. It's over 600 blocks long, and it actually helped me get resources back and forth across the server in record time. So it's pretty good to show you guys this. This is what might have been. Uh, this is as far as I got with the pillared hall. Just the problem was, you know, one builder. And uh, I was having fun building this uh, pillared hall and other stuff. And I wasn't happy that nobody supported me during this. I had a few friends, but they liked just sitting there and watching me. So it was a nightmare trying to find people to help me with this. So I just enjoyed... Uh, building it at my own pace, at my own speed, and I find Minecraft a very relaxing game if you play it at your own pace. Another thing I'm very proud of on this server is these walls. I didn't want flat walls on my server, so I actually took the time to actually put staircases and all that and just make it look nice for you guys. And this is uh, the storage building, and uh, basically the point was, the bigger my server got, the more I had to actually dedicate resources toward actually uh, building storage rooms, where I could actually store all the stone brick until it was needed. But, you know, being one player, having to... This was before stroke boxes, so I actually, or at least I knew about stroke boxes, but I didn't know how to get them. So it was me just playing this and trying to get resources back and forth with my limited 36 uh, slots of inventory space. Right now, I'm just pretty happy to show you guys this server. 
I kept the files so I can keep uh, showing people where I was when I was building Minecraft years ago. This is the cathedral I worked on. I actually did this on stream. So this was the last great thing I built on the server before I decided to move on to the new server. And this is um, something that took at least two weeks to build. And I'm pretty proud of how it turned out, but I believe I can build a better cathedral than this. And it's gonna be amazing. This is unfinished because it doesn't have a roof. I would have finished it with the roof, but you know, I decided to move on to the new server. So it's good to show you guys this. Now I think it's time I end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you guys want to see more footage of this server, uh, please leave a comment and probably I'll make a follow-up video to this. So next week I'll be showing the, the, the second uh, version of this server. See you guys. God bless.